Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Hmm. Pa Ayo Adebanjo says, I told Tinubu in my bedroom that the Northerners are deceiving him. And he knows as well, but he pretended as if he was not aware or turned the blind eyes. What is happening to him today is not strange. He caused it on himself. So my wonderful people, this is part of what is happening. This is part of what is going on. And um, every one of us, okay, are really, really wondering what next. Every one of us are really, really wondering what next. You know, so this is what is happening right now. Okay, this is what is happening right now. Anyway, my wonderful people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I told Tinubu in my room that Northerners are deceiving him. And he knew as well. He knows. But Ayu Adebanjo reveals deep conversation he had with Tinubu. Chief Ayo Adebanjo, the acting leader of the Pan-Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Ferry, speaking in an interview with Tribune Nigeria, has alleged that APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu does not have the perceived support from the Northerners. Pa Adebanjo stated this, that it's quite disheartening that so many political leaders, traditional rulers, and northern groups wants the North to retain power in 2023 election. This is sad. But Adebanjo argued that Sinubu is relatively aware of this. Yes, he knows of the conspiracy. And that is why he had warned him not to run for presidency. He alleged that the Northerners are only after the wealth of Ashiwaju and not with sincerity of heart. According to him, it's becoming clearer by the day where the Northerners stand with few days to the election. He said the moment you deprived yourself from the agreement of our coming together, then you are not being fair. The North is deceiving us. They are not going to allow Tinubu to get there. And I've said it. I told Tinubu myself in my room that the Northerners are deceiving him. And he knows very well. He knows what he, he knows what they want. He knows. He emerged as APC presidential candidate. That really caused a lot of shock and rocked the party. Because a lot of them never wanted him to emerge. Tinubu knows too well that these are some of the things he has to deal with. He may be pretending to all, but he knows the truth. He knows. So this is what is happening right now, my people. This is the, this is the new terrain. This is what is happening and why we cannot afford you know, to, to keep turn a blind eye and pretend that we're not aware okay, on what is going on. Every single one of us must arise and we must ensure that we vote in the right candidates by ensuring we do everything humanly speaking possible to bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. The danger there is that, you know, having supported somebody and you feel, you now say it's a milukon, it's my turn, does not sort out the matter. It doesn't save or it doesn't, it doesn't change the matter. You know, so people must honestly, you know, understand the fact that if you want change, you must go for it. You know, you must go for the change. You can't sit back there and think it's going to come to you. You honestly have to work at it. Okay, you honestly have to work at it and ensure that at the end of the day, the change come. Pastor Paio said, okay, you know, Paio said, if we really, if Tinubu really wants this presidency, he should first of all know that he's been deceived by those who supposedly, you know, by those who supposedly are saying to him that we are one people, we have one voice, we're one, those very same people are the ones who are against him. And the moment or the, 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 the time he can begin to understand 
uh, and understand it really that, uh, yeah, these people are against you. They are not for you. Probably his approach to things will be quite different. He said it was in his room. He told Tinubu, that guy, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The so-called people you perceive and you say they are with you may not be with you. Okay, they may not be with you. So we just have to understand that there is need, urgent need, okay, for serious attention and for things to change. Nobody should sit back there and, and think that all of a sudden things are going to turn the other way. If we do nothing about it, you'll be shocked and surprised what will follow. So Nigerians, if there's anything called change, this is the time. If there's anything called change, this is the time. So please don't just allow the same people over and over again. Every one of us must be sincere, honest, and determined for this change we're talking about. Nobody should sit back there and think that things are suddenly going to change. If things are going to change, you must be prepared to vote. I must be prepared to vote. Have you seen, I, I can understand why, he, you know, Pai, you're saying what he's saying. Have you heard some of, you know, Northern elders, leaders speaking? And they said, ah, eh, you know, they were talking about power rotation. Say there should be no power rotation. Nigerians should vote. And we know that when the military were in power, they've already divided the country in such a way that the North has advantage or, you know, vote saying the North has 19 uh, states already. So how do you want to? overshadow overpower that so when you look at it you you understand that you know there is real serious point for concern and i was saying to tinobu i told you before that these people do not they do not align with your interest i told you but you just turned a blind eye or you failed to listen or you were not bothered you thought that i was the one deceiving you now you can see for yourself he gave you the shock of your life, Naira redesigned. Tinubu is a very strategic, uh, Buhari is a very strategic person. You may think that, uh, if she call Buhari anything, but don't call him a fool. Don't. You'll be deceiving yourself. Call Buhari any name you choose to call him, but don't call him a fool. Don't. Okay? If you do that, the joke is on you, because he's not one. He's not a fool. Anyway, my lovely people, see what is happening today, here and now. Every single one of us must understand that the days upon us have become clear that if we want things to change, we all have to work at it and get Nigeria to where it ought to be. Remember, it's up to you and I. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.